Hi all. As we know uh, in our daily life the physical parameters all the physical parameters are in the uh, form of analog quantities that is to measure and for processing uh, the a particular type of quantities we have to use an analog to digital converter that is uh, that can be processed in the form of digital digital signals so we have to use an analog to digital converter there and also for getting back the analog signals we have to use a digital to analog converter at the end of the circuit so in most of the controlled circuits we are using a analog to digital converter that is adc and or and a dac so in this video we will discuss about the dac what is the purpose of a dac and different types of dacs we are using and this is the block schematic of a digital to analog converter dac and the basic building blocks of a dac are a resistive network and a digitally controlled switches and a voltage reference and a current to voltage converter and the digital input cord the digital input cord is applied to the resistive network via a digitally controlled switches that is uh, for each bit there will be a corresponding switch there if the corresponding bit is 1 then the corresponding switch will be closed if a bit is 0 then the corresponding switch will be open so like that it will work and actually the digital to analog conversion is take place in the resistive network itself and there is a voltage reference there and the output of the resistive network will be in the form of a current so we have to use a current to voltage converter there for getting corresponding analog output voltage and before uh, learning the different types of DACs we must know some parameters regarding the DACs the first one is the resolution what is the resolution of a DAC the resolution of a DAC is nothing but it is the smallest change that can occur in an analog output as a result of a change in the digital input so a resolution of a DAC is also can be de uh, defined as a step size it is the smallest step size possible so uh, the resolution or step size is the size of the jumps in the staircase waveform mostly if you are converting a digital quantity to analog one the output will be in staircase form not not in the form of a uh, pure sinusoidal wave it may be staircase like waveform will be there okay so after filtering the staircase waveform we will obtain a uh, uh, waveform like this that is analog quantity and uh, here uh, the resolution will be uh, equal to V reference by 2 raised to n V reference is the reference voltage we are giving and uh, 2 raised to n n is the number of bits we are using so for a 3 bit DAC if you want to convert a 3 bit digital number into a analog quantity then the resolution will be re v reference by 2 raised to 3 that is v reference by h so each step size here so each step size will be vr by h okay so the first step size will be vr by 8 and the second step size will be uh, 2vr by 8 like that so this is the resolution of a dac and the first type of a DAC we are going to learn is the binary weighted resistor type DAC so here uh, you can see a resistive network there the value of the values of the resistor network is 2 raised to 1R, 2 raised to 2R etc up to 2 raised to NR where a small n is the number of bits we are applying okay and here RF is the feedback resistance so here the op amp is configured as an inverting summing amplifier okay and here you can see that uh, we are using an electronic switches there so uh, it is a dp sp switch okay it is type of dp sp switch so here uh, if we are giving a digital input 
that is if suppose if you are giving a 1 in the place of d1 okay 1 in the place of d1 then the corresponding switch will connect to the reference voltage vr okay normally the switch will be connected to ground that is it represents zero here okay zero here but when the corresponding digital bit is one then the switch will move to it switch will connect to minus vr that is our reference voltage okay so here you can see the d1 is the msb then the dn will be the lsb okay mm, so based on this digital input the switches will connect it to uh, either to minus vr or to our ground okay and we know that the output of the op amp will be that is the inverting amp will be v0 is equal to minus rf by r into vn okay so here v in v in will be minus vr because the reference voltage here is minus vr okay and uh, suppose we are uh, considering a 3 bit dac here that is uh, only d1 d2 and d3 are there okay so th three switches will be there three resistive network will be there that is 2 raised to 1 r 2 raised to 2 r 2 raised to 3 r will be there okay so in that case what will be the corresponding output voltage so uh, d1 d2 d3 is 100 0. so at that time what will happen only this 2 raised to 1 r resistor is connected to minus vr all other resistor are connected to ground okay that is 2 raised to 1 r resistor this switch will be active and it will be connected to minus vr okay and we know that uh, the output voltage here will be v0 is equal to uh, minus r of by r into v in so here v in is minus vr and uh, r the resistive value the input resistive value here is 2r that is 2 raised to 1 r so it is 2r input resistor value is 2 raised to 1 r 2 r so v r into r by 2 r we will get as v r by 2 that is v r by 2 raised to 1 here so here we are treating it as uh, the feedback resistor r of it is equal to r so we are considering it as okay so uh, we are uh, getting the output voltage v0 is equal to v r by 2 raised to 1 suppose if you are taking the value digital uh, quantity as d, uh, d1 d2 d3 is equal to 0 1 0 then only the second switch second switch is connected to minus vr that is second resistor 2 raised to 2 r is connected to minus vr and uh, the output voltage v0 will be equal to vr into r by 2 raised to 2 r that is vr by 4 vr by 2 raised to 2 so v0 will be equal to vr by 2 raised to 2 here also we are considering r of is equal to r and for 0 0 1 case we will get v0 is equal to vr by uh, 2 raised to 3 here it is not 8 uh, it is uh, 3 here v r by 2 raised to 3 okay 2 raised to 3 and uh, for an if, if it is an n bit uh, dac the output voltage v0 will be v r by 2 raised to n so likewise we can formulate an equation for the output voltage here uh, the equation is uh, basically derived by considering the current current equation here that is the current equation will be i0 output current will be equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 plus up to i n okay and also this i1 will be equal to this i1 will be equal to vr by 2 raised to 1 r okay so that is considering here i1 i2 up to i n so vr by 2 raised to 1 r into d1 d1 means whether the bit is present or not that is if d1 is given d1 will be 1 if d1 is not there it will consider as 0 okay uh, so vr by 2 raised to 1 in r into d1 plus that is i1 will be vr by 2 raised to 1 r into d1 then i2 will be vr by 2 raised to 2 r into d2 like that up to n okay this d1 d2 can have either 0 or 1 okay then i0 will be equal to uh, this equation uh, at last we will get v0 is equal to vr into d1 2 raised to minus 1 plus d2 2 raised to minus 2 plus up to dn 2 raised to minus n so this is the equation of the output voltage here and uh, by constant different combinations of bits uh, we are getting uh, the analog quantities like this 0 vr by 8 uh, 2 vr by 8 3 vr by 8 
4 v r by 8 for different values of d1 d2 d3 and hence uh, we are drawing a waveform here that is digital output code versus analog output value and here we are getting a staircase like structure okay so this is a binary weighted type resistor dac and uh, main disadvantage of this binary weighted type dac is that uh, here we have to use a large value of the resistor okay if the number of bits is increasing we have to use a large value of the resistor because uh, the smallest resistor will be 2 raised to 1 r then 2 raised to 2 r 2 raised to 3 r uh, up to it may go up to 2 raised to n r okay so for uh, for a 8 bit uh, type dac we have to use a 2 raised to 8 that is up to uh, 128 or 256 times uh, resistors we have to use here okay so that's the main disadvantage here and also uh, the smallest resistance can be possible here is only 2.5 kilo that is to avoid this resistor should be 2.5 kilo ohm or greater than that value to avoid the loading problem in the circuit so that's the main disadvantage for our binary weighted type DAC so here for avoiding that disadvantage of binary weighted type DACs we are formatting R to R ladder type DAC the, the problem of using a wide range of resistor here we are avoiding that problem only two values of resistors we have to use here R and 2R okay so the uh, circuit will be like this and uh, D1 will be the it must be uh, up to Dn we can use so here only a 3 bit DAC is shown here okay and the corresponding output value we can derive like that uh, suppose uh, if you are considering d1 d2 d3 as 100 only this d1 is present here okay all others are zero so the two this resistor is connected to minus vr all other two r resistors are connected to ground okay so the circuit will be like this and we can reduce the circuit by this because uh, this 2R last uh, resistors 2R and 2R are parallel so uh, we will get uh, by combining these two we will get it as R the equal resistance are R this R is again parallel to this R so we will get it as 2R that 2R will be again parallel to this 2R we will get it as R like that we can reduce this circuit and at last we are obtaining the circuit like this okay and uh, the input this is the uh, here uh, this is an uh, node a this is a node b c and d like that okay and here um, the circuit is uh, simplified like this and we are rearranging this circuit like this okay so here this 2r and r is again coming to parallel so the uh, uh, parallel equivalent resistance here is 2r by 3 okay 2r by 3 so uh, the voltage input to voltage at node b okay because here the node b okay the voltage at node b is passed through the op amp to the output okay <coughs> so the input to voltage at node b can be calculated like this that is vr is equal to minus vr into the equal resistance will be 2r by 3 okay this 2r and r are parallel so we are getting 2r by 3 so minus we are into 2r by 3 divided by 2r plus 2r by 3 that is minus we are by 4 so minus we are by 4 is the voltage at node b and also uh, we know that it is an inverting amplifier so the output voltage v0 will be equal to minus rf by r in that is minus rf is rf is 2r that is minus 2r by r here input to input resistance is r so minus 2r by r into v in v in is the no, uh, voltage at node b that is minus vr by 4 this is the v in so minus 2r by r into minus vr by 4 so we are obtaining vr by 2 here so for this condition the output voltage will be vr by 2 okay likewise we can calculate the output voltage for other conditions also so here also we are getting 0 vr by 8 2 r vr by 8 3 vr by 8 like structure the same structure that we obtain in the case of a binary weighted type dac 
okay so the main advantage of r to r ladder is only two lso resistors are required here r and 2 r and high accuracy and stability is there and also the equal resistance to the right of each labeled node that is a b c d like that will be equal to 2 r hence current flowing downwards away from each node is equal to the current flowing towards right okay so that is the main disadvantages of r to r ladder network and these are the main two types of DACs we are using. Hope you understand well, learn well.